Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to X4 Foundations. Today we're doing a getting started tutorial for trading. So as it is a beginner's video for trading, in this video we'll cover manual trading from the ship that you're currently flying. We'll cover auto trading for your fleet of ships and we'll also cover making uh, manual trade routes for your fleet as well. Now like with many things with X4, it all begins on the sector map. Head on over to the top right, you'll find a load of filters here, and you can use these for trading. There's a few others, but we want the one on the far left. There's a little power icon here, you can switch this on and switch it off. We want it on, and it will show you, as long as you're zoomed right out, all the stations that you've currently discovered. By default, it will show you five products you can buy and five products you can sell. You can select the price range right here. Below that, there's the option to set either a lower number or a higher number of products that it will currently display, with the maximum being 5. Also note that as you zoom into each sector map here, you'll get a further refined list of which station sells each particular commodity, indicating to you right down to the individual station. So this is very helpful as it allows you to get an overview of what's on offer. Now keep in mind these prices may not necessarily reflect current data. To get that you need to be docked to the station and that will last for a set amount of time. To get continually updated data just deploy a satellite right nearby. Now as we hover over each item a little line will appear alongside that item indicating which station we can either buy or purchase that particular commodity from. As we want to make a profit the idea is to buy cheap and sell high. So let's just choose a uh, commodity here, we can use fuel. And do note that I clicked on sold wares there because we want to see which stations are selling at these particular commodities and where we can buy them from. Up the top we can see bought wares and that's which stations are actually making the purchase. And you can see the difference between these two. There's a reasonable amount of profit to be made there. So right now I'm going to trade in the ship I'm actually flying. It's not really a trading ship, it's got a very small cargo hold. But nonetheless, it can be done, and the purpose here is just to show you how we actually achieve trading. It also demonstrates that trading can occur in many different types of ships. So zoom in onto the station that's selling the commodity that you actually want to locate, and head to that station. You can either head there manually, or right-click on the station, and set guidance to this. This will give you a marker to fly towards that station, or you can use autopilot, which by default, if you use your mouse and keyboard, is Shift and A. Don't forget, Shift and 1 will put you into fast mode to allow you to travel there that bit quicker. So when you've docked here at the station, simply go to the trade menu and select the commodity that you wanted to purchase, in this case space fuel, and buy as much of it as you want. In this case, we're going to fill the cargo hold right up. Once you confirm, it takes a few moments for the transaction to complete. The money doesn't uh, get debited from your account until uh, that yellow box actually disappears, and there we go. Next up is to head back to the galaxy map again. You may want to enable the trade filters again if they're not already uh, enabled, and then look for the station, which is actually paying the highest price for this commodity, and that one, in this case, is all the way down here. Again, select guidance to that station, and travel there again, either manually or or with autopilot. Now the great thing is with X4, if you do this all manually and you fly around, you can have many adventures along the way. You might want to be a bit careful with that cargo though, as sometimes you may find pirates coming after you. How much that matters to you will depend on what sort of ship you've got, and whether or not you actually took an escort with you, in form of a squadron uh, with the other ships. So dock at the station to sell at your wares at, Go to the trade menu again and you can simply transfer your products. If you want to see how much you're making per unit, just choose one commodity, otherwise sell a whole lot. So a reasonable amount of profit there, although nothing too significant. But do keep in mind that this is not a trade vessel. Trade vessels then are an entirely different board game. You might want to buy one if you want to buy one remotely or if you want to fly to the station, then you can use yet again the sector map here. Small and medium ships are sold at wharf stations. Large and extra large ships are sold at shipyards. So purchasing a ship is generally very easy. You just need to have enough money. Choose the ship size you want and then choose the type of ship you want to buy. Ships by default just come as a chasse. You need to outfit them and that actually adds to the cost. The default chasse for this particular trade ship is relatively low and we can select some presets. This one is minimal so it doesn't add too much to the cost. You can go just like this, I did send a ship out like this initially, 
but it is really bare minimum. You may also want to include a shield to at least give your ship a little bit of defences. You can of course add weapons, personally I didn't bother, at least not yet. It comes with trade software so you don't need to worry about that and you can always add a few crew here if you feel that necessary. Once you've got your selection complete, simply choose add to queue and you'll get a confirm dialog down the bottom. Select that and you're good to go, you just need to wait a bit of time for the ship to be built. So you can get a list of all your ships on the property owned tab and I've got two uh, trading vessels here. Double click on one, it will take you straight to it and uh, the menus here are context sensitive so you can right click on the vessel if you want, the little green icon there which indicates your ship or uh, you can control everything from the property owned tab. So I've got two currently in action at the moment, we can witness what they're doing by uh, simply watching them and you may want to send them to a set destination, choose a ship from property owned, head to a sector, maybe where you know there's a load of stations you've discovered and right click there in that sector and choose fly to, the ship will then head there and you're about to give it further orders once it's arrived. So there's a couple of ways you can do trading with your vessels, with the remote trading. You can select the ship and do auto trade in, so just click on the vessel, right click in empty space and what will happen then is you'll get a context sensitive menu. Very easy, tell it to auto trade within the sector that you've moved it to or auto trade across the entire galaxy. It really is that simple, the ship will then continue to keep trading and making you a profit. It takes money out of your existing funds uh, that will be debited and then credited with the profit. And right at the top there you can see the amount of money that's currently outstanding that you're about to earn for the particular transaction. Now there are some advanced commands if you want to use them. Just go to the ship selection, right click on that ship and choose the info panel. You then go to the advanced area here and this will tell you a whole load of information from who's in charge of your ship to what rank they are as they've ranked up as well as the current order queue. Now this will show you what they're currently doing and what they're going to do next and you can actually unfold any of these options and you can see uh, what station it's going to, where it's located at and what the current trade is. You can also unfold the auto trade ones and add or remove products that you want the ship to trade. If you don't want it uh, trading certain things, uh, simply remove it from here. And you can see uh, the uh, other option after there. It's just going to continue to auto trade until you tell it to stop. So there's also some other very handy options here, you can tell your ship what to do in certain situations. So the set command is hold position, you've got a whole load of other options here. Dock and wait, explore, follow ship, uh, revisit known stations, a very interesting one there called the plunder. And each of these require a captain of a certain rank. Your captain, just like other crew members, rank up over time as they go around their daily tasks. Now there's also a few other uh, options here, you can have the default response to uh, police interdictions, we can use the global option uh, which is uh, up there, hold position, or we can have our own options, we can tell it to attack, comply, escape or wait. Uh, we have a de default response to pirate harassment, again use global setting, or you can choose attack, comply, escape or wait. Now as this one here is a trading vessel it's probably a good idea to uh, set it to try and escape, unless you know it is very powerful and has significant weapons. And again, the other option is what to do if the ship finds an abandoned ship. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can set manual trade routes for your ships as well, and we'll have a look at that right now. Again, go to the uh, sector map, choose the ship that you want to use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use that trade vessel, and then simply right click on the station where you want to make a purchase, choose trade with, and basically load up on the commodity. Now this is just an example here so don't follow this one because it's not at all a profitable one but it will show you how it works. Instead use one I've shown in this video to find your own profitable routes here. Now that order has been added to the queue, it will then head over to that station and buy that product. If you know where to sell a product, likewise you can right click on the station, it could be in a different sector, it might not necessarily be right next door here, this is just an example and a poor one at that. But you will see again how it works. The next stage of that trade route is actually queued up and you can keep doing this. And if you find some good uh, trade routes, some good commodities, it should be a way of making some very, very good money. So uh, there we have it then, the basics of trading within X4 Foundations. For more advanced trading techniques such as trading from your personal stations, do keep an eye out for my other X4 videos. As always, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.